Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a, another day in the life of vlog today. Um, we're not really doing much, we're just hanging around the house a little bit and then um, my daughter, she's gonna go hang out with my mom this evening because me and my husband are gonna go out to dinner for Valentine's Day, even though Valentine's Day is tomorrow, but the restaurant I wanted to go to isn't open tomorrow, so we're having a little date night tonight. My mom's watching our daughter and she's um, spending the night there, so we get to have some just one-on-one -on -one time with us together, which will be really nice. So we're just gonna get into it today. Say good morning. Good morning. So right now we're just gonna make some breakfast. Um, we just started doing some like baby led weaning, so she might eat a little bit. She just had a bottle, so we're just gonna start cooking our breakfast. We got a late start to the morning. It's 11.30 right now, so it's kind of like lunch. Now. Yes, I put ketchup on my eggs with just some buttered toast. And then for Sella, I have some toast strips with um, vegan cream cheese. It's just this Kite Hill cream cheese I found at Target. It's dairy free. And she's also gonna have some of this yogurt. It's also dairy free. Also got this at Target. Um, and yeah, teething, so I don't know how much she's gonna eat because she I don't think she's feeling that great. She slept until 9 30 this morning, and she usually sleeps until like 7 30, 8 o'clock, maybe 8 30. So, yeah, we're gonna see. This is her yogurt. I have some just in a bowl from yesterday that she didn't eat. Want some yogurt? You want some yogurt? You gonna eat it? Look. You hold it. You hold it. Oh, where'd it go? There you go. Feet in your chin. There you go. I had to get her a long sleeve bib because the cleanup was just crazy with her feeding herself. So. Is it good? Can you get it in there? I also have a little pear for her if she wants it. She usually really likes the toast, so try that too. Oh, would you drop it? There you go. She's just staring at the light over here at <laughs> the camera. Every morning that we're home, I pretty much have the same thing for breakfast, eggs and toast. I just love eggs so much. It just fills me up. I love savory foods, so it does that. And just put some ketchup on there. Some people think that's weird, but that's how I've always ate eggs. Hi, you want help or are you not hungry? Try your toast. You love your toast. You love your toast. <laughs> I think 
She's ready for a nap. Ready for your nap? You look so tired. I think you're very interested in eating right now. Not hungry? Hmm. You look so tired. This is just water, by the way. That's why I drink it so fast. This is my iced coffee, which is so good. I don't even get Starbucks anymore. This is just instant coffee grounds that you mix with a little bit of hot water and then I put ice in it. Fill it up with like about here, about to here with water and then I put creamer. And I usually have um, almond milk ready whip whipped cream and it's so good. Even this is just so good. I use the, um, what's it called? House Delight or International Delight, something like that. The French vanilla coffee creamer. It needs to be stirred up a little bit more, but it's so good. Like I said, I don't even go to Starbucks anymore. Yeah. You look so sleepy. You want some water? She drinks from this little cup. She really just like sputters it out right now, but we're teaching her how to drink from an open cup. When she was born, she um, she has torticollis, so I can get into that a little bit more later um, when she's sleeping, because there's a lot that goes into that. Um, that's why she tilts her head. But we're working on it. We're working on it. You want some more water? Have your toast. Thank you. I know. Okay, so I mentioned about how my daughter has um, torticollis. I'm actually in her nursery right now because. Um, She's sleeping downstairs. She takes her morning naps downstairs in her little like swing. So she usually takes her first nap in her swing downstairs and then we come up here for her second nap and she sleeps in her crib. But anyway, so I'm in her nursery filming this because I don't want to wake her up downstairs. Um, and I'm using her blanket too, so. Anyways, um, with the torticollis, it's, um, like favoring turning to one side. So she has left-sided torticollis, which means she turns her head to the right and she tips her head to the left. Um, it used to be like significantly, like you, it was really bad when she was younger, um, but we are so fortunate enough to have um, an amazing pediatrician who, um, recognized it pretty early and recommended that we go to physical therapy. So starting at like a month and a half old, she started going to physical therapy. Still haven't stirred the bottom of my coffee. But yeah, so she's been going to physical therapy um, for since a month, since she was a month and a half old. And now she's um, five and a half months. She'll be um, six months on February 21st. So she's been going for a while she's made she's been making such great improvements um but 
so she would always turn her head like this so bad she would never hardly ever look to the left um but now she turns her head both ways she has great range of motion but um what can happen is from tilting her head well she tilts it this way so from tilting her head all the time to the um, left she's always working these left muscles which they're like so strong over here now and her the right side of her um, neck muscles are just like not as strong at all so we're trying to work on strengthening that right side of her neck um and I'll show you guys like exercises that we started with when she was um little and then like what we're doing now I'll go through all of that and see if she'll be able to tolerate um doing some of that stuff so i can show you guys um but with the torticollis since she was always um turning to the right she was always ended up like when she's sleeping always laying on that right side so what can happen since babies heads are so like soft and they're still like forming um like their skulls it can develop a flat spot some babies have it on the back of their head um just from laying on their back because you know as you all know back is best for sleeping um so a lot of babies develop flat spots because they're on their heads for you know like they're sleeping for 12 plus hours a day i know that my daughter sleep for 12 hours at night at least and then her naps are usually between an hour to three hours it's so much time so anyways her um, right side of her head has a flat spot on it because she was always turning to the right and just laying on that side we would try and like fix her but just when she would go to sleep she was just always like this so um, with that being said she um, now has an so the flattening of the head is called is something different. So the one that she has on the right side of the head is called plagiocephaly. Um, it just means like flattening on one side of the head. But um, I think like about a month ago, her physical therapist had said that she noticed like some flattening and she had been like monitoring it while we go to the PT. And she recommended that we go to this place called Cranial Technologies where you get a free consultation. They take pictures of your baby's head. Um, they put them in this like little like stocking thing so they can like really see the shape of their head. And then they take these like 3D pictures and it tells like it'll say like how severe or if they have flattening or whatever. Anyways, long story short, we did that. She does have flattening on the right side of her head and um she will need a cranial helmet so they said that she may need it for like 10 to 12 weeks um so we have her appointment on the 16th to get the pictures um to have the helmet made and then she'll have her helmet on the 25th so which is good because a lot of people i was like uneducated about it i had no idea like how like I know like some people have like flats like babies have flat spots but I assumed that they would just like go away on their own like it, it was I wasn't really sure like how it worked but it can actually cause like a lot of long-term cause um, a lot of long-term like health problems like eye and ear and jaw problems um, because it can cause like facial asymmetry so with my daughter her like right side of her eye gets is like getting pulled back and the right side of her mouth it's not like super noticeable unless she like is smiling or something like that like really big but it can cause long-term health problems so um and i was like i was definitely unaware of that i did not know that um so the helmet just helps reshape the head but the biggest thing is that you have to get it done within a certain amount of time for the helmet because babies' heads aren't like fully fused together. Um, I think you can get the helmet up until 18 months, but the, the um, um, earlier you get it, so the earlier that you get the helmet, um, the, the less time that you'll have, your baby will have to be in it. So for example, um, my daughter, she's getting it around at like six months so she'll they said that she hopefully will only have to be in it for about like 10 to 12 weeks 
because they're hitting these like growth spurts and their heads are growing um, at a faster rate than a older baby. So older babies, their heads aren't growing as like rapidly. So basically like while they're in that helmet, you're waiting for their heads to start growing so that way it can start like forming the head um, and to the position that it, or the shape that it needs to be in. So we're hoping that since we were doing it earlier, around six months, that we won't have to be in it as long. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start that journey and I'm hoping and praying that her head will reshape and won't cause long-term health problems for her. Okay, so we are going to do some of her exercises from PT that helped strengthen her neck and helped um, her to get more range of motion in her neck. And I'll start off by doing what we started doing from the very beginning. Um, I'll do as much as I can remember with her little bow butt. Okay, so, all right, so the first one we would do, so she would always turn her head to the right. So her muscle on the left was pretty tight. So we had to stretch her neck. So what we would do is we would just gently, I don't know if you guys can see. Come here. We would do is we would gently pull her shoulder down and if they start fussing or crying then you just you stop there's you can't do it if they're tense and tight and it's uncomfortable we don't want to hurt them we just want to help them so we would gently pull her shoulder down at first it was very she hated it at first she hated it so much so we just kept trying every day and then we, we finally were able to do it right yeah and then another one that we started out with, I wonder if I can do this any better where I can get it to. I may have to scoot back a little bit. Um, another one that we would do to help, she just growls all the time now. We would start like this. We would put our thumbs on her chest and our fingers, our pointer fingers behind the back of her neck, but she has to be looking straight. And we would just pull to sit to sit and then once that got really easy we started doing it with her hands Stella and go like this up, 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 up. and you don't want them to have a head lag where their head's just sliding back so this helps strengthen their neck and you can also Stella look over here you can also hold it like this to help and it helps get them straight to help um there's there's so many i'm only good. not gonna be able to show you guys everything in this video but this is called the football hold hold on like this and we would just bring her head up it helps um stretch that side of the neck then once they're comfortable with that you can gently pull down on the shoulder and that helps stretch it even more just as much as they can tolerate for all of our home suggestions ever since she's ever since she started so i'm just gonna briefly look through them and honestly i can't remember what all of this helps with so it's been so long since she started so with the left side do left side lying and you always want the hands to be in the middle you don't want i remember um, um hands, i know She's a little cranky crank right now, but hands always in the middle. You don't want this hand to be flying back here and just we're just forgetting about it. You want hands in the middle, in the middle. Show them how you were doing the middle. Good job. And then with her right side to help stretch it, they would want to a... <laughs> I know, a little towel roll under her head on the right side, but not under her shoulder, just under the head. Hands always in the middle, to the mouth, anything like that. So that was that, it would help stretch her neck as well. 
And these were all, everything I'm showing you, it's all over since she's been um, a month and a half up until now. And we would gently, good, good lift, good lift. Uh, we would gently pull her, her shoulder down on that side. I know, you're tired. We go to the PT, tummy time, tummy time, tummy time, they would say, right? Lots and lots of tummy time. At first, she hated it. We had to figure out ways to help. Um, one way we first started out was up on the bobby. Because that gives them a lot more support. You'd ra we would rather them be supported up, have them more up support so they can keep their head up, rather than just being on the floor and then just getting, not even be able to do anything and just keeping their head down. Um, after the bobby, we graduated to a horseshoe roll. So, come here. That's too easy for you now. You just do the floor. Um, we do the horseshoe roll. Make sure their hands are down, down. And then she's up on it. It's not as high. And then it also comes around um back up back up back up it comes around their body to help kind of just keep them snug and just to give them some comfort so they're not just out in the open and scared this one that we would do so you just kind of want to distract them any way that you can she's just on the move now so she doesn't like to stay still Cup her head and pull this shoulder down, and you just want to be able to keep it there, but she's fussy, so I can't. So you would just hold her head like this as much as they can tolerate, and then you can just make fun faces or talk to them or do anything you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. But she's super fussy right now, so she won't let me. So hopefully you can get the picture with that. You want to keep her head in the middle, head in the middle, head in the middle. And then oh, um, good things that you can do are patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. And you can also do patty cake with the feet just to help them align in the center. In the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Right? Right. So to reach for her feet, so we would hold up a blanket. Not too high, but a little bit we put it under her butt and it helps them be up a little bit and reach for their feet and grab their feet and you want them to grab their for their feet with both their hands you don't just want one hand just going good job you showing them how you do it I'm just gonna do um, a couple more so this one we would have like a cushion like we would take a couch cushion and put it in front of us um, we have her kneeling, her arms up on the cushion with the toy. You want to put a toy in front of them and want both hands to engage on the cushion. And then we turn to side sitting. And you sit them like this and have the toy up here. And you want this hand to reach across her body and play with whatever up on top of the cushion. Same thing with the other side. Sit in it, sit on um, side sitting, turn, and then play with what's ever up here on top of the cushion. I love you. Let's have her on her side, and then to help her roll over, we would pull here and help her. The more you go up, the more help and support they get. So if they don't need that much and just need a little bit, you can just gently pull their ankle and they will kind of flip over. First, we had to start like up here and get her to slowly, slowly, and then she would pull up. Um, she is so tired right now. What we're doing now. So we're doing belly time, which she's doing so good at, but I don't know if you can see. She pushes up on this hand like this. And then this left arm is just not, she's not putting really weight on there. Just like this on her belly. 
So we have to try and practice to get her weight on this one, which she doesn't like, so she's going to be fussy. Um, but at this age, you want them to start reaching for things. So you want them to tilt onto one side, um, tilt onto one side, and then be able to reach up and grab stuff. So right now, that's what we're working on. I hold her hips down like this. It's kind of hard to just do with me. We try to do it with like this, but it wouldn't really work. Um, putting a toy like over here to the right while I'm still holding her hips down like this and then trying to get her to reach across her body at the toys. But those are the stretches. Um, if you want me to go into more detail, just let me know and I can do that when she's not as cranky and she just when she just wakes up so she's nice and happy hey guys i just realized that i forgot to end this vlog yesterday um there was a little bit of um change of plans yesterday so um there is gonna be there was supposed to be like a pretty bad ice storm so my husband and i didn't end up going out to dinner we just um got something out and then we just brought it back here and ate. We did drop my daughter off at my mom's house though, so we were still able to spend some time together. Um, I was gonna vlog our little outing, but we didn't get to go out, so I didn't do that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. So um, let me know if you like this video. If you like it, um, go ahead and like the video and please subscribe. Thank you. See you guys next time.